Good day ladies and gents, today we're gonna talk about Tarkov Shimmers getting hacked through Discord. It happened a few days ago, Rengar made a tweet about this, saying some shimmers have had the Discord hacked, do not click on random Discord invite links, they send you, they'll steal your login token and get you locked out of Discord. So that's what we're gonna talk about. I don't know exactly how many Tarkov Shimmers got hacked, there is a couple. Um, so I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the story from my perspective, from my side. As I got this message before before Rengar posted on Twitter, I had to retweet it and I instantly I instantly made a post in my Discord. Join my Discord if you still haven't, and I notified all the members that are online that you shouldn't be clicking um, on those links. You shouldn't be joining those servers to make sure that my community stays protected. Um, so this is how it looked from my perspective. I got a message from Goddess, which is a good friend of mine. She sent me. She sent me a uh, server saying uh, like check main, and um, I was like, "What's there?" Waited for a bit, joined the server. Um, then I realized that the server looks a bit weird because it asks you to, it asks you to verify, right? And as you can see, the message was posted on the thirtieth of January, and I got the the message to join the Discord on the thirty first. So I realized that the server was created a day before and I was like, all right, let's verify. There is nothing wrong with that. And at the moment when I was uh, recording this, I think the server got overloaded or maybe reported. The bot said server is overloaded. Please try again in a few seconds. But initially what happens, the bot sends you the bot sends you a QR code. So, a so same thing, you click verify. And then it sends you a QR code because you were supposed to, you were supposed to prove that you are not a bot, right? But the thing is, this is not a QR code to prove that you're a bot. This is a QR code to log in into the Discord, as you can use Discord mobile app to get onto in, into the Discord on different PCs and laptops. You just scan the code and get in. This is the same system, except you scan this code and they are able to get in. So this is the code for them to get into your Discord. This is how the whole hack works, if you can call it a hack. So joining the server is not necessarily a bad thing, like you're not gonna get hacked or anything. However, you still shouldn't join random servers if you're not sure like what's going on there. But this is how the hack worked. They use the Discord authentication, so they don't really steal any credentials, they don't do any super fancy stuff. They just make you scan the QR code, which logs yourself uh, on their computer into your account. And then you, they use your account to invite friends, they use your account to um, get get more people into the server. And uh, this, is how, uh, this is how it works. I'm actually not sure what happens after. Uh, I would assume they would rebrand the server to some NFT scam or whatever. Because there are plenty of people in there. And maybe, maybe try to sell something, I don't know. The server is probably blocked by now, it's probably long gone. Uh, but yeah, that's the situation. So I guess all of us can learn the lesson that even though you trust your friends, if something looks off, because like um, God has literally texted me a random message, join this, and I would never expect her to do that. I knew that something is off. So um, stay on the alarm, never click the links, double check with your friends. If you see that they're sending you some strange stuff, message them on other socials, ask them if they have access to their Discord, if, they get, if you think they're getting hacked on Discord. And uh, yeah, don't don't stay hacked. So yeah, that's the video of today. I don't really know how many Tarkov streamers got hacked. Hopefully not too many. And I think most of them already restored their access because it was only Discord related. It wasn't like their mail, their Tarkov account, their Instagram or whatever other socials media related. It was purely Discord. So everybody restored their passwords and everybody is safe and sound now. So yeah, those are the news for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay cyber safe and I'll see you in the next one.